This is the first day of my life. I swear I was born right in the doorway. I went out in the rain, suddenly everything changed. They're spreading blankets on the beach. Yours is the first face that I saw. And God was blind before I met you. And I don't know where I am, I don't know where I've been, but I know where I want to go. And so I thought I'd let you know. Yeah, these things take forever, I especially in slow. But I realized that I need you, and I wondered if I could come home with you. Remember the time you drove all night Just to meet me in the morning And I thought it was strange you said everything changed You felt as if you just were fun And you said this is the first day of my life I'm glad I didn't die before I met you But now I don't care, I could go anywhere with you And I'd probably be happy So if you wanna be with me But these things there's no telling We just have to wait and see But I'd rather be working for a paycheck Waiting to win the lottery. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Besides, maybe this time it's different. I mean, I really think you like me. Thank you. 
Please rise. so much for coming to be a witness in this celebration of a marriage for John and April. It means a lot to them. And they have picked each of you individually and specifically to be a part of this wonderful celebration. You excited? Yeah, I'm very excited. Good. Good. <laughs> Just trying to take it all in. <laughs> 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 this is your day. This is your day. In marriage, we get to celebrate and witness this partnership between John and April, who are very much in love and are committed to each other. And as a reminder, there is a chair that is left open with a red rose on it. John's mother passed away a little over four years ago, and so she can't be here in person, but she is here spiritually. And this uh, red rose is, a, is representing her presence here so that she can continue to be a part of John and April's life. John and April believe that every future endeavor is going to be much better because the two of them will be together. They have searched their hearts and their souls and realized that they need to be together, that there is nothing that can keep them apart. For John and April, it's a love and a commitment. It's uh, been said that marriage takes a tremendous amount of courage to be able to open oneself up so unselfishly to one another, to another person. And the only way that you can do that is through love. Because love creates courageousness. And so you guys are courageous in this, in this endeavor. Can you please bow your hearts for me? Father, we come to you at this time. Lift up April and John. Please guide them, protect them as they begin their story. May the lifetime of their marriage be as beautiful as the day of this wedding. Amen. This marriage unites in love, and it's a miracle. And because of that miracle, they started off as friends and a door was left open and they were happy and then all of a sudden something happened and it wasn't just happiness, it was love. 
and they realize that this is this is true and this is forever and they want to share that with everybody here marriage begins with a promise it it takes words and the words have to be unconditional when we're giving a one or giving ourselves to one another we are giving those unconditional words because it is a commitment that you're each, each making to each other and a commitment that you are determined to make true so what i would like to do is we'll say a couple vows and uh, if you repeat them after me john you're going to go first okay 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 so i john take you april I, john, take you april to be my wife to be my wife to have and to hold to have and to hold from this day forward from this day forward for better or for worse for better or for worse for richer or for poorer for richer or for poorer in sickness and in health in sickness and in health forsaking all others forsaking all others to love and to cherish you to love and to cherish you as long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. John, if this is your promise before God and these witnesses, please say, I do. I do. Okay. April, can you please repeat after me? I, April, take you, John. I'll take you, John. To be my husband. To be my husband. <laughs> <laughs> That was her emphasis, not mine. <laughs> to have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. To love and respect you. To love and respect you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. If this is your promise between God and these witnesses, please say, I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, can I have the rings, please? <laughs> these rings that I'm holding in my hand are made out of precious metal. And if you notice, uh, all rings are never ending. It's a circle and it's never ending. The precious metal it's made out of is representing the preciousness of this relationship and the love that they have for each other. And because it is in a circle and it's never ending, it is representing that their love will be never ending towards each other. John, can you take this one? And you're going to Kevin, can you take the bouquet, please? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, we're going to place this ring on her finger. Okay, and you're going to repeat these words after me. April, with this ring, I be well. April, with this ring, I be well. I give you my promise. From this day forward, you shall not allow me. My problems can be shown. Wear this ring. As a reminder of my love, as a reminder of my love and commitment to you. And commitment to you. Please place it on your finger. John, with this ring, John, with this ring, I be wed, I be wed, 
I give you my promise. I give you my promise. From this day forward, from this day forward, you shall not walk alone. You shall not walk alone. My arms are your shelter. My arms are your shelter. My heart is your home. My heart is your home. Wear this ring always. Wear this ring always. As a reminder of my love. As a reminder of my love. And commitment to you. And commitment to you. Please place the ring next to me. I didn't tell you this part. Now, I would like you to lean across to each other and just whisper something in each other's ear, a promise that you have. This is this day is a new day. It's a new dawn, and it is the start of your story together as one. And we would like you to be open, to be able to trust one another, and not allow any barriers to come between you that can hinder your relationship. To symbolize and celebrate the blending of these two individual lives into one. John and April have decided to do what is known as a wine ceremony. And it is a tradition that we believe started in Italy when the children of two vineyards uh, got together and married. And what it does is it represents two lives coming together. And if you see behind me, there's a red wine and there's a white wine. The red wine is representing John, all that he was, all that he is, and all that he will ever be. And the white wine is representing April, all that she was, all that she is, and all that she will ever be. And they're going to pour those two <coughs> wines into a third vessel, which will be the start of their story. Because as of today, the two will no longer be alone, but they will be one. And just as things that are physical, everything that is physical deteriorates. If you look at buildings, they crumble. If you look at food, it decomposes. If you look at clothing, it wears out. The one exception is wine. Given the right circumstances, wine will get better. Now, there's different varieties of wine. There's different wine-making styles. And it all comes in and adds together. So as these two individual personalities have been together, they will now be joined together. And just as when they pour the wine into a third vessel, there's going to be some sweetness and there's going to be some bitterness. That sweetness is, representa is a representation of love, joy, peace, the good things that will take place in this relationship. And the bitterness can represent sorrow, grief, and the trials and tribulations that go along with each of our stories, with each of our lives. But if the mixture is handled properly in the winemaking process or in the marriage process, the marriage will grow stronger, not weaker. So as you two go back, reflect on that. Thank you. 
I've got some concluding comments. Okay, for you. okay, I'll calm down. No, that's okay. <laughs> the anticipation is great. You know, as you journey together, I hope that you learn to communicate with each other often, to trust each other. Your marriage is built on love and respect and trust. And trust is formed and has been forming, and it is time and consistency builds trust. And so as you are going down this, this road together, uh, I ask that uh, you would continue to communicate. And there's going to be times when it's, uh, you're not going to like John, or you're not going to like April, but you will still love each other. And it's in times like that, that and I know because I'm living it through experience. I've been married for over 40 years. And I know what that is like. The romantic aspect can have highs and lows, but your commitment to one another is, is the strongest aspect. And that can get you through anything that life holds in front of you. So when you are going down this road, remember to communicate. You know, Homer, as a, uh, the poet said, there is nothing nobler or more admirable than when two people who see eye to eye keep house as a man and wife, confounding their enemies and delighting their friends. Now, that tells one thing about Homer. He was never married. You know, there's really nothing noble about living as a husband and a wife when you see eye to eye. What is noble is when living as a husband and a wife that you don't see eye to eye and you still love each other and you work on that relationship because there's times when <coughs> life will throw a curveball at you and it's in those times that that commitment that you're making today to each other will be strongest so i look forward to seeing and hearing your story over the years i look forward to seeing the way that you two will communicate and treat each other with respect. And just as Homer didn't get it right, I would like to give you a description of what God says love is. And it says, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it is not rude. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. My prayer is that you will use that description of love and look back upon it over the years. You know, you guys have called each other boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, and today you are going to each get to call each other husband and wife. John, please kiss your bride. <laughs> by the power vested in me by the state of California, I pronounce you husband and wife. Can you please clear the space? And for the very first time, may I please introduce Mr. and Mrs. John and April and Arena. Sorry. <laughs> I love you. I wish you were here. Just know you're not alone. Because I'm going to make this place your home. 
family can go through those doors and then everyone else if you can go back over to the reception area there's a few things that need to get taken care of and then they will be joining you very shortly so thank you very much the extended family thank will you for watching